Well, when it comes to snapping the perfect picture, it doesn't get any better than the work of our two next guests do. Their images of the birds of paradise are absolutely breathtaking. We're going to show you some of them. Please welcome Tim Lehman and Edge Skulls. Skulls. Did yep. I get it right? Yep. Okay. Welcome. welcome, you guys. Thanks for being Thanks. here. Hey, thank you. So tell us about this passion of yours. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> photographer for National Geographic magazine. I've been working on a lot of projects uh, over the last 15 years. Um, done many stories for the magazine, but this one that we're uh, here to show people today is one that um, kind of got really, you know, really into and spent a lot more time on than most projects. Uh, the Birds of Paradise, this group of birds from the, the region of New Guinea, oh, yeah. um, this big, big tropical island just above Australia. Uh, it just has this family of birds called the Birds of Paradise that uh, have just this incredible diversity of uh, shapes and colors and ornaments. And so uh, Ed, you know, was doing research on this group. You know, he's a bird researcher, ornithologist, and so we teamed up and uh, spent a lot of time uh, over the last about eight years. We've been going to New Guinea on multiple trips to uh, document all the species of this of this group. So you mm -hmm. travel everywhere, obviously, for National Geographic. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a project that sticks out as just breathtaking as this one does? Well, I mean, this is definitely, you know, one of the most exciting and most breathtaking ones that I've, that I've done. I mean, I've worked on, you know, uh, worked in Africa, I've worked in South America, I've worked all over, you know, the Pacific and Indonesia oh, and stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. But uh, the rainforests in New Guinea are just really stunning. They're still uh, relatively intact. Um, and uh, so this, this group of birds uh, just, you know, is really uh, unique in the world. In, well, so what I want to know, because Ed, I was reading some things about these birds, and they have some very unique habits that are different from all other kinds of birds. What are some of those things? It's kind of a, kind of a dance of seduction or whatever that they do. Yeah, it is. So all the, all the photographs that we're looking at here, these are all just the male birds of paradise. And so the females are actually uh, much more plain. They're kind of brown and more cryptic and camouflaged. And the males are the really kind extravagant like and showy ones. Yeah. I, you know, even more so. And the males uh, spend almost all of their time on their courtship display territory. So all they really do is eat and uh, try to find females for mating. And the females come around and they choose which male they want to mate with based on how good the males look, the so quality of their exactly feathers. So it's exactly like humans. I was going to yeah. say, it's like Dallas. <laughs> perfect. We, this yeah. makes the perfect Dallas sense. dating scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, very different than what you were talking about before because here the males play no role in parental care. All they do is mate and the females rear all the young on their own. So they don't really have the same family values uh, as your previous So they're guests. male chauvinistic <laughs> birds. What do they do? Some sort well, of little, they do like a little dance or whatever, don't they? I mean, they're, they're very showy. Yeah, they are. There's 39 species, and every species does a different dance. So they're all, they're extremely differently looking, and everyone has a unique uh, display. Some of them hang upside down. Some of them dance on the ground uh, with feathers wrapped around them. It looks like they're wearing a ballerina's tutu, and they have little special uh, head feathers that they move around. So it's a very, very unique group. What got you interested in birds? I actually got interested in birds in high school. I had an inspiring high school biology teacher, um, and uh, he took us outside and wanted us to learn things that we could um, you know, appreciate in the natural world and also be tested on in class. And so he got us memorizing birds from the field guides and then taking us outside to learn them, and I kind of ran, ran with it. Well, Tim, these are kind of elusive birds, so what are some of the challenges in just trying to even snap a shot of these guys? Yeah, I mean, um, one of the reasons that nobody had ever photographed all the birds of paradise before is because they are so difficult to, to find. And it's, New Guinea said, you know, New Guinea's a remote place, so first just getting there is a big effort. Uh, and once you get there, you have to sort of get out into the wilds. Uh, you know, we're often sort of flying into a remote uh, little airstrip somewhere on a bush plane and then hiking for hours and setting up a camp in the rainforest and spending, you know, several weeks there to go out and, and search for the birds. And so then once we're there, we've got all this rainforest everywhere and we have to find you know where the birds are displaying and and so um, you know Ed would and I would be out there scouting and you know once we find the bird maybe they're displaying in the top of a tree so I would have to climb up a climb up the tree using ropes I'd bring a bow and arrow with me and I'd shoot a shoot a line over a uh, you know high branch up in the tree pull up a climbing rope and I'd climb up and build a platform up in the top of the oh trees. My gosh. Very so a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of work goes into every shot, you know, to try to get a, you know, never before documented, you know, displaying bird of paradise up in the top of the canopy. You know, it spend days and days, you know, even a couple of weeks to uh, get everything set up and be, then I have to be, you know, climbing up the tree in the dark to get set up and with my cameras it's to you know, when, it, when, it, when it got light in the morning, the birds much, would come. So. It's amazing how much work it goes into getting these beautiful shots. And you can explore the rainforest with Tim and Ed tonight at the AT&T Performing Arts Center's Windspear Opera House. The show starts at 8. 